Because even if we eliminate formal state sanctions, we get rid of the stakes, we know that testing data is still incorporated into third party ratings like those created by greatschools.org. And those great school ratings, of course, are baked into real estate websites like Zillow and Truly. You wanna talk about racism in action, right? So people are making decisions in the real world based on these ratings. There's going to be pressure on schools in response to that, even if the state drops sanctions. So in addition to de-weaponizing these state accountability systems, it's also important to measure more broadly, right? Working to capture all that we value and not just test scores. And it's really important to do so in a way that does not simply offer demographic data in disguise, right? Because so many of these data points, attendance, which is in many of the ESSA plans, raw standardized test scores in math, raw standardized test scores uh, in English language arts, um, that graduation rates for high schools, right, correlate strongly with demographic variables. And so when all you do is you put those into an algorithm and you come out with a rating, of course, schools serving low-income kids, BIPOC kids, kids with special education needs, of course, they look worse, right? And what that leads to is segregation. Even if we got rid of the school closures piece, which is racist and classist and unjust, we would still have this problem of exacerbating neighborhood segregation.